Hi everybody and welcome to Momdas Life Handmade and welcome to Sawyer Stash Open Collaboration December 2019. Sawyer Stash is an open collaboration where I along with my friends we share a sew project every month and we invite anybody and everybody who loves to do stitching to join us with a video. So there is a playlist link given in the description box of this video where you can go and add your video to the playlist and enjoy the videos of all the participants of this month. I love to do a lot of trash to treasure, pick up ordinary thing and give it a new life and a new purpose. And if you love such content, do hit the subscribe button given below the video or hit the icon given in the bottom right corner of the video and hit the notification bell so that you're notified each time I post a video. Hi again. So let's talk about my project this month. So I made this phone wallet, which not only serves as a wallet to hold my phone, it can also hold keys and also has a place to hold a card or um, some money in it. So nowadays, most of us have got smartphones and smartphones are bigger in size because we want a bigger screen to look at. And um, I started realizing that I need a wallet which can hold my phone very safely. I can have some money and card inside it. And at the same time, I want to also hold my keys with it. So though I have a lot of fancy bags, but for running errands like going to a grocery shop or a get fr fresh fruits, vegetables, just five minutes walking distance from my home, I don't want to carry fancy bags for that. I just need something small which can hold everything in it and this is the perfect solution. But this is a very, very easy project. Don't let this scare you. It's really easy and you would just enjoy watching and enjoy creating because step after step it just unfolds magically and you get a customized wallet for your own phone which also works as a purse and a key holder and not just as a key holder you can dangle it to your jeans or maybe in your tote or hang it as a charm or inside your tote as well so very handy very useful i'm going to start with this small piece of fabric it's just a teeny tiny piece and i'll show you how i draft my pattern and how you can draft your own personalized pattern so I've taken a piece of paper, I placed my phone over it and I sketched the outline of it. That's it. Then I added half inches on each side and cut out a rectangular piece like this. Next I cut out another rectangular piece with two ends rounded and uh, this is approximately, this is three inches wide and two inches in length. So this is going to be the flap. Other than these two patterns, I'll also need a thin strip of fabric which is one inch wide and almost the same as this, as the width of this. The length will be as the width of uh, this pattern and this would be about an inch. So I'll cut it out. Now what else do I need is I need scissors, matching thread and needle, a marking a pen or chalk a ruler or tape, some fusible interface, a lining fabric. So one can use the same fabric, a little more of it for lining or use a contrast uh, fabric for lining. I'm using this fabric for lining. A uh, zipper, a small one. I'm using some Velcro. I'll use actually a black one. So mark the pattern and then cut it out. Now as I said, I cut one front piece, one back piece, one flap piece and this is what I'm left with. Now here is the pattern that I made. And I folded it little more than half, making sure that 
I took a card and made sure that the card comfortably fits within the outline of my phone and there is enough margin for a seam allowance of stitching the zipper here. So this would be the last pattern for this. So I'm going to place it over my fa leftover fabric and cut this out. Now this is all that I'm left with. So I have a front piece, I have a back piece, I have a front pocket piece, I have the flap piece and this is another piece. It's about one and a half inch wide and it is four inches in length. So this is going to uh, be fashioned into a little uh, loop like this and it will hold a D-ring with a clasp or a keychain. Here it is. Now for each of these pieces I will have a lining piece. So uh, for the front and the back two similar size pieces. One for the pocket, one for the flap and this is that extra uh, piece that I said which is one inch uh, in width and the length is same as the width of the front or the back. It will be used for uh, completing the pocket. Now I'll attach or iron my fusible interface over the uh, these fabrics at the back side and I'll cut them a little less than the original size of the fabric. So I'm just going to trim my pattern 0.2 inches from all sides because somehow with the uh, fusible interface one can stitch definitely but it becomes much easier without it so as you see this is the back side of the flap and I'll put the fusible interface like this and iron it so I'll have the allowance seam allowance which I'll use for stitching that will be much easier so I'll do these to all these pieces except for the one that I'm going to use with the keychain or the D-ring not in this one one can do with this it's going to become more stiff one can do with this as well but it's going to be uh, folded so it you might omit this one but these four pieces need uh, to be stiffened with the interfacing now that these are nice and stiff and strong, this is the pocket flap and I'm going to take my zipper and I'm going to make it face downwards so that the wrong side is up and this is the right side of my fabric and I'll place this edge next to the top here. Now this is the lining fabric, I'll place it here over this so that uh, the wrong side facing up zipper is sandwiched between the right sides of the facing fabric of the pocket and uh, the lining. Now I'll uh, stitch along this line. Here I've stitched it. Now I'll uh, turn it over. The right side of the zipper comes forward and I'll now do a top stitch here. I'm using matching threads and now for the top part I'm going to use this thread. I'll place it like this, stitch it here and then flip it like this and stitch again. Now I don't have a zipper for it but because this is not a very thick uh, zipper it worked fine in a normal machine like mine. Now here is the pocket flap ready. I'll trim off the excess later. Now this is the front piece and I need to place it like this. So I'm going to bring the zipper in the center and uh, attach these two together. Now with this in place I'm just going to fold uh, this fabric and stitch it here like this and then I'll also stitch the pocket around this edge 
so that this becomes total one piece and it's easy to handle. Now the front piece is ready. I kept the zipper uh, handle in the center and I'll snip off this extra pieces. Now for the back side, first I'll make this little belt or flap. I'll just fold it like this, fold it over and make top stitches on both sides parallelly. so that I can fit in the D-ring or the keychain or the clasp and attach it like this. Here is the keychain flap done. Next this is uh, the flap to close the pouch and I'm going to, I've already put the interfacing and I'll place the lining I'll, this is the curved edge and I'll stitch like this and keep the side open and then turn it over to get the right sides out. I'll place a radial cut till the stitch line around the curved corner so that it's easy to turn it. And using this open side neaten the corners and after the corners are neat enough I'll just go ahead and do a top stitch a little inside. Now this piece is also ready now let's assemble the back side so this is the back piece and I want this here now this is facing the right side up the fusible interface is below the right side up the D chain or the key ring is inside the first layer and then this is the flap which will close the pocket or the uh, pocket for a uh, mobile phone so this will come like this so I'm going to place it here so the right sides facing each other and the D chain sandwiched in between so now I'm going to stitch this up This is the back side and this is the front side. Let's snip off the extra. Now these are the front sides. Just place them together like this. And this will be the entry pocket for the phone. So I'm going to stitch all around like this. All around like this. And then turn it over. Snip the corner so that it becomes easier to turn it over and gently turn this thing inside out. We still need to add the lining. Now these are the two pieces of lining fabric. Now I'll stitch them along like this, like an L shape here and then leave a gap about half the length and stitch it here. And this side is open for the pocket and I'll keep this side open so that I can turn everything inside. Now as I said I made an L like this and I stitched here so there is an opening here for turning everything inside out and this is the opening uh, for the mobile to go in. So now this lining fabric is wrong side outside and the right side is in and my pouch is right side out and I'm going to put the pouch in. Now my pouch is neatly inside the right side of the pouch in and the now the right side of the pouch and the right side of my lining are facing each other 
I'll just this has to go in <laughs> now everything is in so now I'll just go ahead and close this opening like this just go ahead and close it now is the time for magic so this is all stitched now this is the opening and I pull my bag out like this and this is the lining now I never could have figured it out till I did it I've seen this video so many times but I could only figure it out when I started doing it so don't be scared just start a project nothing to lose maybe just a scrap of fabric nothing more so now I just folded in this raw edges and I'm going to stitch this portion uh, maybe with a uh, hand sew it or machine sew it anything and then just poke everything in uh, like this and just top stitch once that's it now I can place some card or money inside this and I can place my mobile inside this flap and I'll just add a velcro one can add any kind of uh, buttons and close it so my phone stays safe inside I can attach this portion to bag tote bags or uh, I can just add another belt and hold it like a wrist pouch or add a longer belt and use it as a crossbody pouch or just put the whole thing inside a bigger bag and go. The hardest part was planning and I have done it all and believe me I just took one hour to finish the whole project and it was so satisfying I loved what I made. I hope you will enjoy making your own customized phone wallet and see you soon in my next video. Take care. Enjoy.